So in bringing the demon through, obviously common sense would say, bring, if the demon wants to come in, I have to go out. That's how I understood channels broke, you know, that's what I understood. You know, if a being comes through, there's only one that is able to inhabit this body. <laughs> so when a demon comes, I'll go out. So I did. So in that moment, I just breathed in. I left my body and allowed the demon to come in. And that was the first time I experienced myself in the dimensions. So now I was in the dimensions, in just in that one moment. And I was looking around, now everything was vast. And it was a, 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 a light pinkish white color, but yellow and white. It was quite pretty, like a sunset. And I looked at my body and I saw, okay, my body's moving. I saw the demon inside, quite a vicious looking thing. The, his big teeth, sharp, gray, but I could see it inside, but moving as my body. I looked, I said, okay, my body's fine, there's a demon inside there. And everyone's talking to this demon. And I could see interdimension everything going on. You know, I could see my organs and the meridian lines and cells and the expression of the energies and, you know, frequency movements, you know, God knows what, everything. So I found myself in the dimensions. Now, obviously for a moment I didn't completely understand where I was. I just kind of looked at everything and I saw like, you know, the white plates, um, look like white plates going up. And I went, hmm, let me go up. So I went up. Now this is quite a strange experience because there's no walking. It's like a movement, like a movement of yourself. So you kind of have to move up, move yourself up. You just do it. Because I can't explain to you how exactly you just do it. You're just able to do it. So I started moving up. And there I met some beings on this plane. It's like a white glass. And I met these beings and I asked them and I told them, <clears throat> Hi, uh, my name is you know, Winged for now. And I'm here in the dimensional existence, I suppose. This, this is the dimensional existence, right? You know, ask me questions. They said, yeah. Um, did you just die? They asked me. And I said, <clears throat> possibly in a way, yeah. Um, but the strange thing is, there's currently a demon in my physical human body. I'm here, and I'm just exploring. I want to know where exactly I am, you know, what's going on here, who you guys are, you know, what's happening here. This is my first time actually experiencing all of this. I've never read anything about the dimensions, or how, what it looks like, what's going on, how everything, how everyone is experiencing themselves. Here I am experiencing this firsthand as myself. And they were all confused. You know, there were the first woman, her name was Clarice. I remember her. She was the first one. And she said to me, no, I can't believe it. It's impossible. Your body can't still be alive while you're here. When you come into this place, you are dead. You know, and then I started speaking about, you know, telling her, but, okay. What is death then? Because it's impossible. My human physical body is still alive. And I'm still here, so what is your definition of death? And they said, when your physical human body dies and you come here, you have died. Um, but that's strange because I'm both still alive, there's a demon busy talking there, and I'm still here and I'm still experiencing myself. You know, and so I had to show them where my physical human body is and that, you know, my, uh, my body's still alive and I'm still able to enter. And, uh, all those experiences, and uh, oh yeah, they, you know, they took me to this place because they thought I'd gone crazy, because they thought that um, I hadn't, that I died, but I don't want to believe that I died, and I don't want to make peace with it, and they told me, if I don't make peace with that, I've now died, then I would end up in the demon dimension, you know, and they really thought I was going mad, I was crazy, because <clears throat> I had to make peace with the fact that I, I was dead. And I just kept telling them and laughing. And I was saying, I'm not dead. My body's still alive. And that's how I took them to my body. And I said, that's my body. 
and it's still alive. Look, there's a demon inside it. And I couldn't believe it. And I had to show them, okay, I'm going back into my body. So I went back into my body. That was also strange because when I first told them, okay, I came out, how do I get back in? And they showed me how I could switch time. I can go look in the past and look in the future. So I said, okay, well, if I know how the demon got in to my body, then I'll know how I can get back in. Because I didn't know how I was going to get back in. I don't even know completely how I got out. I just knew that I'm here. And so I looked, you know, past how the demon got in. So they just stood in the center of my being and they just integrated themselves into the body. So I said, okay, let me do that. So I kind of went in sideways, placed myself in the center and went back in. And then I went back out and brought another demon in. So I told them, look, there's my body. Body's still fine, alive, there's demons. Now I'm here experiencing myself in the dimensions. And they're all shocked. They're all, like, they all breathe in. 